Sir, uh, M.M. Alam was your colleague. What do you have to say about him regarding his personality as a young officer while serving in PAF? Yes, M.M. Alam was my colleague and a friend while we were fighting in the air. But actually he was really much senior to me. But when I returned from America in 61, 1961, I joined the squadron, 14th squadron. He was already the flight commander, 9, 8, 9, 10 years ahead of me. Here by this time, he was well known in the corridors of the fighter fly, uh, uh, wings as a professional and a dedicated to his job. Sir, uh, M. M. Alam was a thorough professional as you were. How he used to take his profession as a fighter pilot? I remember in fondness when he called me and said, at 2 o'clock, everybody's packing up. He says, Azam, let's go and assess the cine films on the attacks that we did yesterday. Now, I had some programs in the evening. I couldn't tell him no. And this used to happen regularly. So he said, if you are not professional, you will never reach your goal. So I had to give him company till evening, finish the cine film. He took his flying career as, his, as if it is religion. So he was passionate about his flying. So he was like saying five times prayers a day for him. Sir, M. M. Alam shooting down five Indian Air Force aircraft in less than one minute time is a world record. You being yourself an accomplished pilot and are holding a world record, how you will describe M.M. Alom's valor of courage exhibited on 7 September 1965 in terms of professionalism, composer, and with reference to world-class S pilots? Yes, M.M. Alom was a professional chap. He used to say, Azam, if you are not striving for it, there is no shortcut to success. You've got to strive for it. And he did that on his own and made a record for Pakistan Air Force in 65, 1965. I think he, he was a role model for the Pakistan Air Force. Passionately, he always felt that Air Force is his primary task and he must invest maximum time for the thing. At times he used to tell me, let's go to the Sydney uh, assess investment today and work out what mistakes we made yesterday's flying. And he would take time up to six, seven o'clock in the evening before he would come home. And uh, sometimes I used to feel my evening program has been spoiled. But then he said, professionalism is first. All your everything activities should be later. Sir, would you please enlighten us about M.M. Alam as a human being, his dealings with colleagues, his dealing with the subordinates, and his dealing with seniors? I will talk about his courage first, which you asked me in the last question. He was a courageous man. And he was always pleasant and never irritated. He, would prepare, he was prepared to assist everyone at all times. Fear. He had no fear of death. Fear never affected him and death or accidents were mere, mere truth and would happen when it had to happen. So he always said, Leave it to the Almighty. His dealings with all officers and men, subordinates, seniors and colleagues always remained held friendly and helpful. I never found him angry. I never found him angry except when someone did not fly the aircraft to the limits of it. He always said that the aircraft is capable of doing, so you must take it to the limits of it to make uh, yourself professional.
sir, please. I start from the same place. His dealings with all officers and men, subordinates, seniors and colleagues always remain friendly and helpful. I never found him angry, except when someone did not fly the aircraft to its limits. I have, I have, I have no right to judge him because he was above so, so many things in life. If I really had to judge him, I would say he was, a, he was an exceptional as a man, a friend, and a teacher. He will remain a role model, model for Pakistan Air Force and many Air Forces.